In this video, I'm going to be working out an individual integral. Um, it is just going to be the integral of e raised to the square root of x dx, all right, which is going to be a relatively straightforward u substitution, but we are going to have to do an integration by parts, and I am going to do a shortcut method on that. So for starters here, I am going to let my u be that square root of x. So I'm going to let u equal the square root of x, all right, and then taking the derivative of both sides, hopefully you can do that derivative really quick. If not, you can hit pause and work it out. Um, it is going to be 1 over 2 square root of x dx, and if I go ahead and solve all the way down for dx, then I would have a 2 square root of x du is equal to dx. All right, now we're going to come back up here, and we're going to do our substitutions. So we'll have the integral of e to the u. All right, replacing dx with what that equals, we'll have a 2 square root of x and then du. All right, now at this point, notice that you still have that square root of x. All right, but originally we said u was going to be square root of x, so I can go ahead and replace this with a u. And when I do that, all at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and pull that 2 out in front. So I'll have a 2 square root of an e to the u times a u and then du. All right, now at this point, it is where we want to do our integration by parts. All right, and I am going to do a shortcut method, shortcut being the di method. So we're going to make two columns, a derivative column and an integral column, and do that integration by parts. So we'll have um, the derivative column and the integral column. All right, in the derivative column, I'm going to put my u, and in the integral column, I'm going to put the e to the u. Okay, so I'm going to take the derivative of u, that's going to give me a 1. Since I've done that, now I need to integrate e to the u. I'm going to get an e to the u. All right, now I need to go one more time because I would like for this derivative column to get down to a 0. If I take the derivative of 1, it does go to a 0. Integrating one more time, I'm going to have an e to the u. All right, now knowing this uh, di method or this shortcut method, we know that we need to put a plus in front of the first one and then a minus and then a plus. And then we need to multiply on those angles to get our answer. Okay, so coming back up here, the 2 is still going to be there. All right, and then this integrates to a u times e to the u and then a minus e to the u. And then we can go ahead at this point and put our plus c because we have done the integration. Now I'm going to take the u's and I'm going to replace them with square root of x. So I'll have 2 times the quantity square root of x e raised to the square root of x minus e to the square root of x and then plus c. The last thing would be to then distribute that 2. So we'll have 2 square root of x e to the square root of x minus 2e square root of x plus c. So pretty straightforward um, after you get that u substitution and then if you can do the shortcut method for integration by parts works out very very nicely. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping please share with your friends so that they can benefit too and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.